So we have an HTML page and you want to change, for example, the style of this H1 element. So this HTML page has three articles. So this has title one, title two, and title three. And to change the style of these titles, we, we can just select the element, each one in our case, and this is considered as the type selector. So we select the element, each one, and we change the color to red. And if I save that and refresh the page, you see that the title one is changed and also title two and title three. So what means that the, the style of CSS when I'm defining this each one right here, just find out each, all the each ones within this document and change their color to red. Okay, just I'm selecting any each one within the document and changing its color to red. Now, what if I want to just define a specific style for this title too, and I don't want to use this color red for this title too right here. So for that, we can use an attributes class and give it a name. So for example, for this title too, I will give it a class attributes then i will go for example for green title so this case so this class here is an attribute so that can help us to define some specific styling that only need to be used for any element that has a class attributes and a green title value and to use this green title from the style.css you just need to use the dot then the name of the class and just open the curly braces and put any style you want so for example i will go for color green Save that, refresh the page. So the result is green for title two, which means that I'm defining here that any element use this class green title, so it will be green, not only for hidden, but any element that will have the same class green title, so it will be green. So let's just copy that and put it in this paragraph right here. Refresh the page, you'll see that green is also applied on this paragraph. But if you wanna just limit this green title to the headings, so in this case, you just need to go to the CSS page and define each one here, each one. Now it will only select any each one within the page instead of anything. Now, if I'm refreshing the page, the paragraph, no, it's not green. Even if I go here and let's just return this green title within the paragraph, so I will use the class green title for this paragraph, refresh the page and the paragraph is not green. Why? Because I'm defining from the CSS that any, any element that have this green title class plus it should be an each one. And if we want to just put it as a global one, I just need to remove this each one. Now if I refresh the page, the paragraph is also green. So without using the each one or without using the element before the class name, so it will be global. But once you use any element within the screen title, you are just specifying that you want this specific element or any specific element that use the green title should take this style and apply them. Okay, now we have also another attribute and this other attribute is ID. So for example, if I go for this article right here and I use the ID name, article one. So this ID attributes, which can also help you to select a specific element within the document and change its style. And to denote this article one from the site of CSS, you need to use this, you need to denote it by using the letter number symbol and the name of the ID. Okay, now you can put any style. So for example, I will go for background gray. Now I'm using an ID for this article one, but the specificity of ID, it doesn't have to be repeated. So for example, if I'm creating an ID with the value article one for this tag right here, so I can't repeat the same ID on the next one. So for example, if I go for this article here and I put an article one, you should avoid this kind of situation because an ID should not be repeated. So in our case, you should just change this one to two or any other name, but the name shouldn't be repeated. It's not like a like class when you can repeat the same name, so the ID should not be repeated. Okay, now let's just remove that, save that, and refresh the page, and you see that the background gray is applied on this article one. So the class, as I already said, so can be repeated, but the ID cannot be repeated. There is another thing for naming classes. If you use a space, it will be considered as multiple classes. This is a class name and this is another one. We have two classes right here. So avoid that because you want to create only one class and not multiple ones. If you want to add another class, for example, and I will go for size as a, just an example. So the size class should be created as a separate one. Then you can apply any style within this font size. For example, I will go for font size 12 pixels. 
Now, if I refresh the page, you see that 12 pixel is applied and also the style of green title. So we have multiple classes in this case. So we have the screen title and also size. So be aware of that. So when you are using space, you will create multiple classes. But for the ID, you can't create multiple ID. So using this, this format isn't correct at all. Using any other ID, any other ID within this ID value isn't correct at all. So the ID name is always identical and shouldn't be repeated. You only need to use one name within the ID value, or you only have to use one name within the ID value. 